Hello everyone, in this chapter we will start implementing the ambient lighting in our lighting shader. So first we will go to our shader dev folder and select the lighting underscore specular because this is the point where we left off. We will duplicate it and rename this shader as lighting underscore ambient. We will open this shader in the mono develop. The first thing is to rename the shader. We will call it 15 lighting underscore ambient. Let's save it. Now we will add two properties in the shader that will control our ambient light. One is whether we want to use ambient light or not. Second property that we will define is the ambient factor. The way we have been defining the factor which is the percentage or the property of the material that how specular it is, how diffuse it is. In the similar way we will add a property that will tell how ambient the surface is. And this time instead of keyword enum which has multiple options we will add a toggle button that will tell whether we want to use ambient light or not. And in order to use a toggle, we will use toggle keyword. So the first property that we will define is a toggle. It will start with opening square brackets and closing square bracket, inside which we will add a keyword toggle. And the name of the property is ambient mode. And the label will say ambient light question mark whether we want to use ambient light or not and it will be a float type property and by default its value is zero and as it is a toggle button the value will be defined either as zero or one one is true zero is false another property that we will add is an ambient factor the way we have been adding the factor property for specular and diffuse and the label will be similar to other properties as well. Ambient percentage. And this will be a range property from 0 to 1. And by default, it is 1. So now we have added the properties for this shader. The second thing that we will define is a shader feature. So it will start with hash pragma. It is a shader feature and the way we have been defining other keyword enum properties, this toggle will also be underscore property name, underscore off and ambient mode underscore on. So toggle button will define underscore off and underscore on by itself and this is the property name in uppercase the third thing that we will define is a user defined variable section uniform float underscore ambient factor From now on, we can start an additional step of optimization because this variable, which is the property that we have declared, will only be 